guys so after learning more about Amazon Aurora in the previous tutorial now we're gonna discuss its pricing and how it works so Amazon Aurora is actually a pay-as-you-go with no upfront fees there is no minimum fee for you to pay the prices will be applied to both MySQL compatible and the PostgreSQL compatible editions of Amazon Aurora so database instances uh, we go with the MySQL compatible edition on-demand instance pricing. On-demand instances let you pay for your database by the hour with no long-term commitments or upfront fees. This frees you from the cost and complexity of planning and purchasing database capacity ahead of your needs. On-demand pricing lets you pay as you go and is ideal for development, test, and other short-lived workloads. So let's go ahead and see, we've got an edition which is compatible with MySQL and PostgreSQL. Their pricing is going to be discussed right now, and they are both the same except where noted. We've got for production and for development and testing purposes. Let's keep talking about the pricing for the on-demand instances. Pricing is per database instance per hour consumed, from the time a database instance is launched until it is stopped or deleted. Partial database instance hours are billed in one-second increments with a 10-minute minimum charge following a billable status cha change, such as creating, starting, or modifying the database instance class. Now, instance pricing applies to both primary instances used for read work write workloads and Amazon Aurora replicas, which are used to scale reads and enhance failover. Amazon RDS Multi-AZ technology is used to fail over to one of your replicas if an outage occurs. The cost of those Multi-AZ deployments is simply the cost of the primary instance plus the cost of each Amazon Aurora replica. To maximize availability, it's recommended that you place at least one replica in a different availability zone from the primary instance. So guys, this is what you need to know about the main idea of Amazon Aurora and how it goes with its pricing. So it's a pay-as-you-go and with no fees until you actually start uh, using more than required, which is for your great workload. And of course, this is going to happen if you are aiming to expand your work and reach more places, you're going to need to pay for this, of course.